a story about Nikki Haley, oh, United man. Nations. This is great. Uh, according to the Washington Post, uh, it looks like President Trump's former senior advisors tried to get Nikki Haley to undermine Trump to, quote unquote, save the country. Uh, Kelly and Tillerson confided in me, she says, that when they resisted the president, they weren't being insubordinate. They were trying to save the country. Okay, now let's, you said, the Rex Tillerson, Secretary of State, and, and John, Ke Ke John Kelly Chief was staff. Chief of Staff. Okay, I didn't want to gloss past that. Former General Kelly. Yeah, yes. which if he escaped the Obama purge, probably bad news. That was the first hit yes. off. Yes. And <clears throat> so Tillerson didn't last a year, right? We got rid of him, but that last six months or so was very difficult. And eventually, I think Trump tweeted the firing. Yeah. Right. It, Tillerson it was allegedly right. called Trump an idiot. Who knows if it's true? And yeah, there was just an arrogance in, in not following. Uh, you know, protocols. Now, that happened there, but Kelly was somebody, when you're chief of staff, I mean, the president sees the chief of staff more than he sees his own wife. Right. It's that close. And well, there's no one closer to the president than the chief of staff. <laughs> right. And what made it very difficult for uh, Nikki Haley, our well, UN secretary. Well, maybe a Republican. Our president. UN ambassador. Yeah. The interns are pretty close. Yeah. To well, yeah. <laughs> but, but the UN ambassador, how does she get word to Trump that his closest, including the gatekeeper, John Kelly, right, is actually... Planning a coup. And I think that's the key right. that you're posing here, the gatekeeper. So how yes. do you get this message through the gatekeeper to the president? I, so. I, who knows how she did, but now keep in mind. Well, did she? Yeah, in, we don't even know she did. In October of last year, just about a year ago, she announced her resignation. And within a month after that, Kelly was gone. So she had her audience with with Trump when right. she announced that. Kind of a debriefing exit in interview sort of thing. Yeah. Right. But and by the way, you have traitors in your administration. It's like, do you have names? Yeah. My guess is the only other way is you go through Trump's kids. Either his daughter or Jared or Well, someone. you wonder how much, I mean, as UN ambassador, you wonder how much access she would have just to be able to call him up. Well, first of all, she answers to Rex Tillerson, <laughs> the Secretary of State. Oh, really? Right. Yes. Well, no, I right, understand yes. this is a pretty big stage we're on, and we know that there's a trail of bodies behind Hillary. Yes. So, I mean, it should be pretty careful when you're getting ready to say, I think you guys are blowing a coup. I mean, I you can't you just say, hey, right here she's saying that they said, that is, Kelly and Tillerson said, it was their decisions, not the presidents, that were in the best interest of America. Yeah. It's funny how we didn't elect them, and yet they're taking over. The president didn't know... Quoting more from uh, Nikki Haley, the president no didn't know what he was doing, she said, was their uh, statement. I think right. I ran the numbers, and yeah. I might run the, the proofs of it, but uh, uh, working for Hillary Clinton statistically is the world's deadliest vocation. <laughs> no, it really is. Statistically, it is the deadliest vocation. Uh, there is no industry ever in the history of the world that I'm aware of that that proportion of people that have right. worked for someone in any kind of industry anywhere ever have died, have committed suicide. This is like or have, died by suicide. or have died by other means. I mean, it is literally the most dangerous vocation. This is like the cattle futures yeah. uh, futures probabilities. It's like you know, a million to or right. She's a, a great investor. Yeah, let <laughs> me tell you. Right now, Mulvaney is currently the chief of staff. And for a while, he was acting chief of staff. We didn't really have one. But again, Kelly was the second one, and he was the one that was seen as going to bring order after Ryan's Priebus. I never liked that, that guy. Crazy show. Either of them. But there was Priebus, and then you had uh, what's his name with uh, Breitbart? Um, oh, Bannon. The Steve Bannon. Yeah, Bannon. Yeah, no, yeah. Steve Bannon. You know, and so here we're basically going through a chief of staff about one per year. Now it's, it's a tough actually pretty good. It's a tough job. Yeah. Nobody lasts four years. Talk about yeah. PTSD. Yeah, it's it's a difficult. Yeah. You have no life. Yeah. You know, good. you've got to be there before the president wakes up in the morning, and you don't leave until after he goes. Oh, to I know. He wakes morning. up at like four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he goes to bed. So like, he goes to bed two or one so, third, when he's done tweeting. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not just that position. You take uh, Sarah, uh, Huckabee Sanders, 
know, she about a year and a half, and she had to deal with those idiots from CNN. You know, she had a she record ready, as press you know. secretary, and your record yeah. run. They, yeah. they don't last a year and a half. No, they don't. Yeah, they don't. Usually. Some have died in office. We uh, lost Karamucci was there for like eleven <laughs> days or something. <laughs> The mooch. Well, you know, and, and Tony Snow died of cancer. Well, that was oh going God. on. Dana Perino took his place, you know, and then you have one Reagan's press secretary who shot uh, yeah. Brady, Jim Brady. Did he live? Uh, was he yeah. shot? Yeah, I met him in the Yeah, yeah he, but very, 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 very yeah, when Reagan was shot? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Same, same. So, you know, it's it's got its risk and it's got its, I mean, you, you, you wear out, so. You know, uh, to close out the story on Nikki Haley, her uh, memoir book uh, is entitled, where to go, With All Due Respect. And she does close out the piece, uh, but she told the newspaper uh, she has no personal quarrel, uh, quarrel with Kelly, a retired four-star Marine mm -hmm. general, and called him a patriot. Well, I would, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I don't know. These establishment people are absolute trash. And... Yes. I think you know, one of the greatest things of the, the Trump era is exposing this swamp. And, and, and the swamp really profoundly, and I just, I can't say it enough, it, it is within the Republican Party. The Democrats have no power yeah. unless these people, which exist even in our state party, uh, lay down and hand it to them. We yeah. have too many of them. I want to say, Nikki Haley, though, is a class act. Yeah. She held her own at the UN. She's, she's done some great things in just the way in which she's handled this. She didn't go trashing people. She just said it matter-of-factly. And a brown yeah. lady. Impressive that this racist president appointed a brown lady. And you know what? Uh, the media, they're so they are so backwards. They, uh, they kept talking about how it was a travesty that Trump fired, um, and I'm forgetting what CIA director it was. Was it, was it Brennan? I'm not sure. They're just talking about that. Uh, I don't think it was actually Brennan, but he replaced that person with the first female CIA director, and that really got... Oh, no, that was Trump. Pompeo, and he moved over to Secretary of State. Didn't yeah. fire him. Okay, didn't fire Pompeo him. was... Who, who replaced him in the CIA? What's the lady's name? It, I forget her name. The media is yeah. committed to never speaking yeah. of her, which yeah. is why yeah. I don't even yeah. know her name. Yeah. Yeah. She's right. the first in history. And I think she's probably fine with it when you run a spy agency you really don't want. <laughs> 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 a famous <laughs> secret agent. Right. right. Yeah. Well, uh, I think M has been a, been a longer... Um, yeah, Judy Dench, yeah. Running, running the spy agency <laughs> longer than... That's true.